Hello everybody, this is Marshall again. Uh, today I'm just going over a package delivery system I created for academic purposes. This is kind of your uh, prime example of the uh, traveling salesman problem. You have X amount of things you need to go deliver and you have to do it within certain times and within certain amount of mileage. So as you can see here, uh, this is the package delivery system. Um, we, we delivered all our packages, which is good. Uh, I once the program is run, if it errors out and doesn't deliver any packages, it'll inform us. Um, you could clock out knowing you did a good job. You were delivered in 127.8 miles. I believe when this was assigned to us, the, uh, the, 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 the parameters were within 160 miles. Um, so I think that was fine. I did well in there. Um, so we have a little bit of menu here. No UI, just a command-based UI. So we'll just go through each one of these and... Uh, you know, show what it does and show what it's doing. So if you want to look up a specific package by an ID given a time, we can insert one. And then we'll say we want to look up package ID 23. And then at, we'll just say, we we'll say noon. Sound good? So the ID is 23, as we specified up here. Here's the address, the zip code for it. There was no deadline, so it could be delivered whenever. A wait of five. And then delivery status means it was delivered at 11.14, which is good. Um, let's do the second one, which is a view all status or all packages at a certain time. Once again, we'll just do noon. Seems to be the nice midday point. There's a lot going on here, but here's each package one through forty. Um, here's where they were delivered, delivered, delivered. Um, I believe they're all delivered by this time. I don't see any that's not. So they were all delivered. Um, some of them are special. We'll go over that in a minute. But here you just have, you know. The information about each package, what a deadline is, make sure that it reaches the deadline, delivered when, the wait, stuff like, stuff like that. Uh, the next one is display the total distance of all trucks traveled. We saw that at the beginning, but we'll go ahead and do it here. Uh, 127 miles. And then display each, uh, all the special packages. Here's where I was talking about each one have special parameters, special like little, you know, key points that make it a little bit more difficult to deliver all these in time. So all have to be delivered by 1030 without other special notes so you know delivered has to be done by 10 30. this one delivered 8 40 8 50 907 9 42 8 13 904 8 37. packages to be delivered together so they have to be delivered um at the same time whether the same location whatever it is um and they have a deadline as well so 9 20 uh, 806, 813, 813, these ones are delivered to the same time to the same place as well. So I'd imagine if they're the same time or same location that they delivered this together. Um, delayed until 905. So these can't be delivered until after 905. This one was probably the most challenging aspect of the, um, the writing the program. So, uh, you know, we got 10 here, 11 here, 944, and uh, 1009. So all well after the 905 deadline. Wrong address being updated after 1020 means it couldn't be delivered until 1020. There was an incorrect address, but the correct one wasn't going to be delivered until after uh, the information, I should say, wasn't going to be delivered until after 1020. So we didn't know where to take it, but we ended up getting it here at 1027. And that's the extent of the program. Uh, this was a huge challenge, you know, learning data structures for the first time. But I believe we used a weighted graph. Uh, we had to create our own hash map. We couldn't use any predefined data structure we had to create our own. So uh, that's that. Thanks.